The E1 and E4 series units were a family of double-decker Shinkansen vehicles. These units were designed to help alleviate overcrowding on the Tohoku, Hiretsu and Nagano Shinkansen commuter services. Although very similar, the two units have some significant differences. The first to join the line in 1994 was the E1 series. Originally intended to be named the 600 series Shinkansen, and as such having a similar grey livery to its 400 series running mate, the E1 started the trend of JR East units being designated with the E or East prefix. This standard continues to be seen on all subsequent JR East units. Between 1994 and 1995, six of these E1 units were manufactured and handed the fleet numbers M1 through M6. The M in the fleet number meant MAX or Multi Amenity Express in lieu of the original DDS or Double Decker Shinkansen naming convention. All of the E1 units were 12 car sets, seating a record at the time 1,235 passengers. To accomplish this, the E1 utilised the seating first for the Shinkansen. Six across bench seating not too dissimilar to what may be found in contemporary commuter trains. These were located on the upper deck, non-reserve cabins. These seats did not feature armrests, nor did they recline. Not ideal for long distance travel, but perfect for the sub-hour commutes the units were intended for. Non-reserve seating on the lower deck made up for the lack of view outside by retaining the five across seating. These not only increased the comfort, but had the additional benefit of wider aisles, which would increase standing room, something very useful for a high capacity commuter train. Reserved seating was typical of JR East with five across, armrests and recliners. Green cars were once more typical JR East of the time. Being designed for short commuter journeys, the E1 and E4 units were only capable of 240 km per hour, or 150 miles per hour. These units made up for this by being geared for a very high acceleration rate. All the more important when these units, for the most part, ran all station stopper services along a mainline run into capacity. Once the E1 units had entered service, an issue arose. These E1 units were not particularly advanced in their aerodynamics, since they were not intended to operate very quickly. This led to a flat, angled wedge shape for the nose. This design worked great for the intended performance, but had the downside of slamming into the air and forcing it aside as the train passed. This resulted in a lot of wind noise, which residents along the line very quickly noticed. JR East mitigated this problem by fitting noise deflection barriers along the line near residential areas, but this would not suffice forever. Over the years, JR East had trialled many adjustments to try to reduce this issue, including the fitting of vortex generators to the nose and an experimental reshaped nose cone. However, none of the attempts would reduce the noise. These issues resulted in the E4 series Shinkansen, which, although extremely similar to the E1 in structure and components, featured a new aerodynamic nose similar to that found on the 700 series Shinkansen of the Takedo and Sanyo lines. The new aerodynamics gave the E4 a theoretical top speed of 300 km per hour or 186 miles per hour, although this would never actually be proven. Other key differences of the E4 are a new livery closely resembling that of the E2 series Shinkansen, but with a yellow stripe. Couplers are fitted to each end of the unit and in the case of sets P51 and P52, improved gearing to handle the high gradients of the Nagano Shinkansen. Sets P81 and P82 would later get the same treatment, but also feature some modifications to its electrical system. The key change was the installation of some new transformers on board, to allow it to operate in both 50Hz and 60Hz regions, That's something that the E7 and W7 series, which would later replace them, also have the ability to do, permitting services as far as Nagano, with plans of extending the line towards Osaka. Upon entry into service in 1997, the E4 series quickly replaced E1 units on the Tohoku Shinkansen commuter services. This cascaded the E1 sets to mostly operate along the Juretsu Shinkansen, a role it continued to operate until its retirement. The shorter sets of the E4 series allowed two 8-car sets to be paired into one extremely high-capacity 16-car set, the maximum length for the Tohoku Shinkansen. Doing this, gives one service a total of 1,634 seated passengers, the highest capacity high-speed rail train set in the world. While off-peak, in the earlier years of service, it was not uncommon to see the E4 and 400 series 
operating in a multiple working set between Tokyo and Fukushima. Later on, this would instead be an E3-1000 and E3-2000 series once the 400 was retired. Once the final E4 series had been constructed in 2003, the E1 units were withdrawn and sent for refurbishment. This included the installation of new interiors straight out of the E4 and the same livery as the E4, though trading the yellow stripe for pink as seen on the E2. Other smaller modifications and refurbishments also took place, with the intention of making all cars non-smoking in the coming years. These E1 units continued to run the services until 2012, when in April, the first two units were withdrawn from service. This was around the same time the E5 series came online, which meant that slow units along the Tohoku Shinkansen were no longer able to operate without impeding traffic. By the September timetable, all six E1 units were withdrawn and broken up for parts. One nose unit of set M4 was preserved at the Saitama Railway Museum. Around the same time, the E4 series was withdrawn from Tohoku Shinkansen duties and placed to operate the Juetsu Shinkansen. It was announced at this time that the E4 would also be retired by 2016. However, this was postponed as Japan had won the bid to host the Olympic Games in 2020, and it was expected that these ultra-high capacity units may be needed to transport the predicted hundreds of thousands of visitors to the Games. As such, these units were retained on Juretsu services until 2020 at the earliest. After all, what could possibly cause this to not happen? When the COVID-19 pandemic reared its ugly head and the Olympics were postponed, the E4 series retirement was planned and the buffers were approaching for these double-decker Shinkansen. By October 17, 2021, the E4 series had become extinct. One unit decaled with Thank You Max left Tokyo Station bound for the depot. Three decades of double-decker Shinkansen operations had come to an end. One end unit of the E4 has been preserved at the Niigata City Railway Museum. Every other unit has either been scrapped or is in storage awaiting scrapping, with no chance of reprieve. At the time of writing, there have been no plans for a new generation of double-deck Shinkansen, as JR sets its sights on higher frequency and higher speeds over high-capacity single units. This is a philosophy many other nations have followed, with the exception of France, with their TGV duplex sets and their in-development TGV M sets. The writer of this script is also personally annoyed with the E4 series. The one time he had the opportunity to ride on one, he passed it up to get on an E5 series instead, with the understanding that he'd be back in late 2020 and would then ride it on a trip down the Juretsu Shinkansen. Needless to say, that didn't happen, and the Max Shinkansen is forever lost in his collection. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this informative and entertaining. If you did, please drop a like, feel free to subscribe, take care, and I'll see you next time.